everybody, it's Lucky Jack, 20 little next Let's Play of Ocarina of Time. I got tongue tied there. Blah. Welcome back to the Let's Play of Ocarina of Time. In this part, I'm going to do the mask side quest. Hi! Welcome to the Happy Mask Shop. We deal in masks that bring happiness to everyone. How would you like to be a happy salesman? I'll lend you a mask. You sell the mask and bring the money back here. If you want to read the fine print? Take a look at the sign right over there. After you've sold all the masks, you'll become happy yourself! Have faith! Okay, well, buy this Keaton mask. That's what I'm gonna buy today. So, we borrowed it for about 10 rupees or so. Well, actually, we just borrow it and then we sell it. We, we, we actually don't pay him anything to buy. What happens is, we borrow a mask from him, we go out into the world, we can only have one mask at a time, we find someone who wants it, we offer them a deal, and they'll either pay it full price, less than full price, or if we're lucky, more than full price. We don't actually have to tell them the price. <laughs> and, um, I oh, well, might as well get some rupees while I'm here. I always like to do this whenever I leave. It's right here. Come on. Free rupees. Ah, that hurt. No broken legs, though. Just a mild inconvenience. Anyway. But, um... And then we bring the money back to the Happy Mask Guy and we just pay him back. But, once again, we can either gain profit if they paid more than full price, or we can actually sometimes have to pay out of our own money if they pay less than full price. I hate it when that happens. For parts of this quest, though, make sure you have the Giant's Wallet, because there'll be something coming up near the end of this side quest, which would be great if you're grinding for rupees. However, I don't think I'm going to go and give this mask a jest yet. I still have a couple things I want to do. So if you excuse me, I think I want to go get this reward, the 40 reward. This is the one I was talking about that sucks. And it sucks a lot. Uh, there you are. Well, it doesn't really suck, but if you've been following this guide up till now, to 43, then it'll suck the reward compared to what we've already been getting. And our reward is bomb chews. Oh, we can't get enough of bomb chews. Actually, we can't get enough. Screw you. We already have 10. Anyway. That's all, so now we only have two more rewards, the 50 and the 100. 51, uh, 51 actually don't have too long to wait, but the 100 one, oh, oh, that's going to be a while. <laughs> anyway, I think we remember someone, a guard, talking about their son wanting some sort of new mask lately. So, we're going to take this mask, equip it, and put it on, like so. I'm a Keaton, I'm a Keaton. I'll talk to him. <laughs> Do you think you're a disguise, Mr. Hero? Oh, is that a ki something character mask? I hear he's very popular recently. He's my boy's favorite. He's my boy's favorite. The keys of the mask. Will you sell it to me? Sure. You don't? My boy will be very happy with this. You really are, Mr. Hero. <laughs> you actually don't have to put it on. Oh, he pays 15 rupees. Now we get profit. So we sell the mask. So step one. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do it. Step one, we get the mask. Step two, we give the mask to them. Step three. Step four, profit. Or non-profit if they're a jerk and only, and only buy it less than full price. I hate it when they do that. Oh well. So guess what, for the rest of the game, that guy's gonna be wearing that freaking keep mask. Hooray. I'm not gonna be showing this all the time because... We'll be running around with the Hyrule Field, just running around and giving these masks to people. However, I'm not going to show all this journey, trust me. I actually went through all this raw footage, once again, post-commentary, yay! This footage came out to be about 30 minutes. Just me running around this field, just back and forth, back and forth. But I'm not doing that anymore. This is, I'm going to be making some cuts in this. To at least, uh, just, the wand, just the random wandering. I'll cut enough to show you where I am, but... Other than that, no, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm not going to be running around there forever. This entire quest is optional, actually, but it'll come in handy to get some rewards and items. <clears throat> Back to the mask shop. Okay, so, he says, you sold it. Please pay back 10 rupees for the Keaton mask now. All right, here you go. Payment received. Oh, looks like we got a little cool mask to talk to him again. Uh, okay, okay, let's give it the mask. Uh, a skull mask. That looks scary. Wear it with C to show it off. You feel like a monster while you wear this. Now, what do we hear about skulls? Hang on. 
I am in the Lost Woods. I am in the Lost Woods and I am now heading because before I give this mask to the person who needs it, the Skull Kid actually, we've, that was already much of a hint, we can actually use the Skull Mask to get something first. And while I have it, I might as well use it now before having to go back and backtrack. In the same area where I uh, beat up the two, uh, put the Skull Mask on I guess. But uh, we found these two, s I'll put it on, but anyway. Back here, you'll find these butterflies run around their area, and we'll find a hole! Alright. How does this work? Oh, my mask fell off. That is creepy. Okay, we see all these Deku scrubs thing. They're all on the ground. See a big one over there. What the? Whoa! By the way, this is like a stage. They just want to see, show us your face. What? What are they doing? Oh my god, what are they doing? Ah! Get away from me, get away from me! What are you guys doing? Ah! Oh god, they're following me! We're trapped! Eee! Paparazzi, paparazzi, go! Hey, they're going over there to their... To that big one over there. Dude, you guys gotta organize. You can't just run around in a circle. Uh, you guys alright? They're just running around about in circles. Maybe if I get from this thing, it'll cause them to run better. Oh! Oh, that must be the leader! Oh, the young Deku Scrub Brothers agree. You look exactly like our sacred forest totem. As an offering from us, please accept these Deku Sticks. We will also enhance your carrying skills. Abacadabra, look his arm! Oh, that is creepy. But now we get all 30 Deku Sticks! Alright, that's all I want to do right now. I guess you can get other rewards and maybe Ruby's assigned if you wear different masks or I don't I don't think you get anything and just show up with your normal face. That's basically a Deku stage. Go there, show off your masks, and I'll know what happens, but I'm only gonna show off there's actually a second reward we get. There's just yeah, there's a second reward we can get. But I'm not gonna show that yet. I'm now going to go back to where we first start or I'm gonna go back to where we met the skull kid who was playing the Ocarina. Or whatever instrument he was playing. Alright. Just put on the mask. Alright, we have to jump up uh, on this podium. And then talk to him with the mask on. Hehe, <laughs> under that mask, aren't you that kokiri kick? That was loud, sorry. Hey, quite an unusual mask you have there. Hehe, <laughs> I like it. It may make me look a little bit tougher. Hey, why don't you give it to me? Alright. Yowza, I'm gonna wear this all the time! You gave it for 10 rupees, but it was a 20 rupee mask! I lost money. Damn it. But he does look creepy. He looks a little bit scarier now. Man, I'm gonna have to pay 20 rupees now. My, I'm gonna now. I'm, uh, I, uh, he gave me 10 rupees. Now I gotta pay an extra 10. Oh, I can spare 10. It's getting another better use. I'm cutting. If you haven't seen already, post commentary for the win. There's your 20 rupees. Bleh. Welcome. Okay, which max is next? Ooh. Spooky mask. I'm going to meet you guys in the graveyard near, uh, what's it called? Uh, Kakariko Village. Alright. I think we've seen this kid, Trochibao, trying to be, uh, spooky. If you talk to him, he wants to be like Dompe the Gravekeeper. We'll put on the spooky mask and talk to him. Ah! It's Dompe the Gravekeeper! Oh, it's just a mask. I get a different kind of fright from that mask than I get from Dompe. You give that mask to me. There you go. This mask will be just like Dompe. Here's my money. I sold 30 rupees for full price. Who has that type of money to spend on a mask? Oh well. So now we can go about his day job. Oh, I thought I could jump and be all parkour, parkour on the tombstone. Anyway, back to the mask shop. Time for the final one. And this one's a doozy. Let me tell you, this is a hard, hard one to do. Just because of the timing of all. The bunny hood. Yay! And this does not have any of its effects from the Majora's Mask game. Sadly, I wish it did. Otherwise, this would make it a lot easier. Let's equip the bunny hood on and wear it with pride. Might as well, because we're going to be having it on for a while while I find the guy. Um, You see, outside in Hyrule Field, there's actually a man running around in a huge circle around Lon Lon Ranch area. And it's a wide circle, so it's not going to be right next to the ranch, but... And he is quite far. Yes, indeed. 
So I am going to show you his generic path, and if I can't find him, he, uh... Oh, under the sinking, no! Are you, are you done? Oh, well, this is the last video I have surplused. Which is amazing, because I've actually recorded this all at least a week or so before I even have to upload it. This is fantastic. I'll be so prepared. Just to give you a little bit of a preview of how far early I record some of these episodes, today is April 18th. That's right, this is the 18th of April right now that I'm recording this audio. Alright, basically, it's on this, it, most of it's on this dirt path, but basically, there's a man running about here. He rests at night. That's something to keep in mind. When it's nighttime, he'll sit down, and then it's a lot easier to find him because you're trying to find a standing target instead of a moving one. However, I'm going the opposite direction of where he runs. I should run into him. I should. Or maybe I just passed him. That would suck, but anyway. Just going to keep on moving. Uh, then it comes around here. I'll just uh, parkour, parkour over the fence. Oh. Ah, uh, come on, come on. Coming much farther. Blech. Come on. It's gotta be something. Okay, I'm not getting much. Not making much progress. I may cut to when I find them, and then I'll play Sun Song and make them go to sleep. Yeah, we just pre now I pretty much completed the circle now. My goodness, I know he makes an arc around this tree around here. He's not anywhere around here though. Well, shoot. Yeah, I'm gonna cut. Okay, I found him. I found him. Okay, it's nighttime though, so he should be taking a rest any second now. Come on. Stop. Stop running. Thank you. Talk to him with the bunny hood. I bet with those long ears, you can hear the voices! Wait, what? Oh, these are genuine rabbit ears from the Animal Legend! What Animal Legend? I don't care how expensive it is. Please sell it to me! Sure. My long time dream! Returning to the wildlife, finally the actor stage, I'm prop up and united! It's 50 rupees, but he paid you a crazy amount. Basically, no matter what, no matter how many rupees you can pick, carry, he's going to pay you enough money to fill your entire wallet. So now I'm going, so since I have the giant's wallet, I'm now going to have 500, look at it count up, 500 rupees full. Yes! And with that, the mass side quest is almost complete, we just have to go back and pay him money. And um, when he says that he can run like the wind or listen to voices, he, with these bunny ears, they seem to only work for him, the Majora's Mask way. Watch arms when he runs now that he's gotten these bunny ears. Look at that! I won't be able to run like that. Oh well. Back to the mash shop, I guess. But dang, look at that. See, if I can do that, this quest would be this quest would need no problem and this game could be done probably a little bit faster, because I'm just rolling a bong. <sighs> oh well, we never have to talk to that guy again because we're done with that quest. Hmm. What to do now? I think I'm gonna call that a video. I no, 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 hang on. I got time left, you know what? I'm gonna get the reward, I'm gonna show you some stuff we can do with that reward. So let's just head on over. Because I can run a little bit faster, that'd be great. We have 500 rupees, oh my gosh! I think you can carry more. Can you carry more? I think this is the most you can carry in the game. I don't think there's an upgrade that lets you carry like 900. I don't think there's that right now. Yeah, I think this is the most we can carry in the game. Hooray! Anyway, let's go pay him some money and just finish this quest. Oh, great! You sold it! Please pay me back 50 rupees for the bunny hood now. Very well done. All the masks are sold out. I knew I could trust you. As a reward, I will lend you this special mask. This is the Mask of Truth. It is a mysterious mask passed down by the Sheikah. This mask you can see into the other people's minds, <laughs> and it's useful but scary. Why is it scary? You may find out as you grow older and discover the true meaning of life. <laughs> we get the Mask of Truth. This is what we keep in for the whole game. I'll, I'll tell you more about it as we run along. 
And he also gets new masks. Look at these. They're just for fun, really. There's a Zoro mask, a Gerudo mask, and uh, a Goron mask. That's pretty much it. I'm gonna go back to the Koki. Okay. You know what? You P had to bother me long enough. I'm gonna take one out right here. The trick is to aim for that bowl underneath him. Come on. Tap it. There we go. He exploded. Ooh, got to heart. Okay, now about the Mask of Truth. Those gossip stones I've been finding everywhere, the big stones with the eyes that only tell me the time. Well, when you're wearing the Mask of Truth and talk to them, they'll give you hints. A lot of them, a lot of them are the only way to actually learn stuff about this game, like where heart pieces are and where things are that I've already shown you. Now, I've actually learned where this bridge is. This is that area where uh, there's that sand spot and the, well, there's a stone over there, but uh, there's a sand spot. There was that Deku scrub that came a long time ago. I finally realized what this place is. I always thought this was just some. I always thought that was just some isolated area. Anyway. So I'm gonna, but there's also one other thing we can get with the Mask of Truth. And we have to go back to that, uh, sorry. <laughs> okay, tongue tied all over the place. Um, it involves the Deku stage that we showed this uh, skull mask at. But anyway, I'll show you off this Mask of Truth. Equip it, put it on, and talk to this thing. Uh, responding to your mask, the strange stone statue talks to you. I overheard this. They say that the small holes in the ground that you can find all over Hyrule make perfect breeding ground for bugs. So that's your hint to say, poor bugs and probably, and most likely one was going to turn into a gold sculpture. That's all it's talking about. How one small bug breeds and makes a big gold sculpture, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it scares it out, I don't know. So, in the last couple, in the last minute or so, I'm going to run over here and show off the reward we get at the Deku stage. I was a bit darker than usual. Alright. Hey, I'm on time to bet mess you guys. Going to the Deku stage. Where are you? There we go. Okay. Let's put on the Mask of Truth and go on stage. Look at me! What's going on? Hmm? Oh, what's wrong? Is there a problem, sir? What's the problem? You look kind of reserved. All my young Deku Scrub brothers say you have a horrible face. But don't worry, we will reward you with many Deku Nuts. Of course, we will also enable you to carry more of them. Abracadabra, Abracazam! Now we can hold 40 Deku Nuts! Well, that's kind of nice, you know, kind of a pity present that we have such a horrible face will give me something just because they feel sorry for me, I don't know. So that's it. I can also use it to talk to any gossip stones. I may use that just curiously what they'll say. Why not? If I, if I ever come across, I'm not going to go all my way. If I ever come across, I'll do it. So I'm Lucky Jack 22, unless we have Ocarina of Time. And next part, I'm going to advance the plot. You know what? Yeah, I'm going to go to the Temple of Time. So I'm probably going to meet you in the Castle Market. It'll be closer. So until next time, guys. I'm gonna finally advance this plot and get to some deep crap. See